everyone welcome back to my channel hola buenos dias buenas noches depending on where you are my name is Indy. in today's video i'm going to talk to you guys about different ways you can cleanse your liver so if you're interested then keep on watching so before we go deep into the video let's talk a little bit about the liver since we are going to talk about how to cleanse your liver let's talk about your liver a little bit so you have a little bit of understanding how important your liver is and why this is a very important step in your health okay so liver is um your liver is located on the right side of your abdomen under your right rib okay under your right rib the liver is a very 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 important organ in your body it does a lot of things it plays several roles and several functions in your body it helps in digestion and metabolism i just did a video recently about how to detox your body the different foods you can detox your body and we talked heavily we laid heavily on liver which is why this is a follow-up video to that video so if you haven't watched it I'm gonna link it up here so you can watch it okay so the liver break breaks down different things in your body okay toxins they remove toxins in your body it breaks down food aids in digestion metabolism um, it also filters your blood okay filters the system for your blood it breaks down harmful substances that are turned into waste that is then expelled from the body through urine and stool so as you can see the liver is very important now let's talk about the different ways you can know something is wrong with your liver so when your body is telling you that you know these are signs that you should look out for um so that you will know when something is not quite right with your liver so you can get help go to your primary care um doctor and find out what's going on uh, one of those things is vomiting okay nausea and vomiting so you either nauseous or you vomit that's um and please don't forget that there are other things that can cause the symptoms. So just because you have it once doesn't mean that it's something wrong with your liver, but it could be a clue to something going on with your liver. Um, if, you're, if you bruise easily, um, if you have lots of appetite, you can eat well as you used to. So you've lost your appetite, your fatigue. We talked about fatigue the last time. Um, you have changes in the color of your stool and urine. Um, when people have issues with their liver, sometimes the stool look kind of like clay, clayish. Um, so not only that, um, but you know, when you, it, sometimes it looks fatty, it looks like there's mucus in your stool. That's a clue that something is going on in your liver. When you have pain and swelling in your abdomen, swelling in your legs or ankles, um, also jaundice. So jaundice is the yellowing of your skin and your eyes. The babies, when they have high bilirubin, um, their skin become yellow, their eyes become yellow. That's why some babies are kept in the hospital. Sometimes they have to be treated with light or, or to get rid of that. So the more you poop, the more the baby pees. That's how they get rid of um, high bilirubin. All right, so how can you keep your, your liver healthy? One key thing, one amazing, beautiful thing about your liver is that it is the only organ that can regenerate okay your liver can heal itself with that's why when some people have hepatitis c sometimes we don't treat it within six months because sometimes your liver can get rid of that if after six months your liver is not able to get rid of that that's when it becomes chronic and then we can treat number one water water i know that's uh, um what what do you guys say cliche you might say but that's why we say drink water drink water drink water drink water drinking water keeps your liver healthy okay water is the very very best way the most important way of recharging your liver um, dehydration if you're not drinking well it can cause your liver to not function properly it cannot detoxify your blood so cleansing out the bad stuff from your blood you're not able to do it you have to drink at least eight to ten glasses of water a day 
to keep your liver healthy, okay? To keep your liver healthy. The next one is teas. How many times have I talked about it? I did a video on how to keep your, um, how to treat sore throat or viral cold with teas. So if you haven't checked that video, I'm going to link it here. Y'all, I'm trying to keep you guys healthy, okay? This channel is going in a whole different direction. If you're watching me, you will now see that this channel is changing direction into helping you. I always say maintaining a healthy life. I'm putting a nail on it and working hard to make sure that you're living a healthy, long life. Not only long life, but living long and healthy. Okay? All right. So common teas like lemon ginger tea. Did a video on it. Okay? It's very, very good in reducing a risk of liver disease in your body. Peppermint tea improves di digestion and detoxify um, some things out of your liver. So it helps your body, your liver to detoxify harmful, um, um, harmful uh, products or harmful, what is the word that I'm looking for? Harmful toxins from your liver. Mm okay um green tea green tea reduces the accumulation of fat okay okay accumulation of fat or lipids in your liver okay and it contains antioxidants so make sure you're drinking healthy teas to help your liver out okay give your liver a break grapefruit juice you gonna do the video these are the, the, the things that help you, y'all. These are the things that help you. So, again, going back to what I said in the last video, make sure if you're drinking grapefruit juice that you check with your healthcare provider if you are on different medications because grapefruit juice can affect how those medications um, function. They can decrease the effectiveness, effectiveness of some medications. So, make sure you check with your doctor if you're drinking grapefruit juice okay so grapefruit juice has antioxidants that stimulate your liver and help your liver to filter and take out and take out toxins from your body okay turmeric water turmeric turmeric most people if you if you're like a natural kind of person people that like natural stuff for health most people know about turmeric. It's, it has anti-inflammatory um, effects in them that helps with joint pain. So if someone has arthritis, um, turmeric is very, very good because uh, it has anti-inflammatory properties in it. So turmeric um, can help decrease inflammation and help your, your liver to repair itself because it has the ability to flush out harmful toxins um, and also help uh, to reduce bad buildup in your liver. So taking about one to three grams of dried turmeric roots uh, in water every day, about three months, for up to three months will help a lot in this. The next one is lemon water, okay? So lemon water, you can add lemon to your water to help flush out the liver. It also helps to improve the function of your liver. So about four to six teaspoons of lemon juice mixed with water each day will help you with that. One caution about lemon water is that for some people it can cause acid reflux because of course it has some, it's acidic. So if you drink lemon water and you notice that you're having heartburn, if it's a sign that you're probably, um, uh, the, the acid in the lemon is probably causing you to, some acid reflux. So you might either have to reduce the amount of lemon in the water or how much you're taking it, but it's very good in helping to flush your liver out. And it tastes yummy, okay? Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to this channel. And if the videos that I've been sharing recently is beneficial to you, if you like it, don't forget to share it with someone else because just like it's helping you, it might help someone else. So share the lock and help me. I'm taking my time to make these videos for you. So please help me out by sharing the videos and liking and commenting. Let me know if this is helpful to you. The next one is ginger water. Ginger water helps 
to protect your liver from toxins and reduces inflammation. We know that ginger is very good in inflammation. It's anti-inflammatory. It helps boost your ginger. Also helps to boost your immunity and improve digestive health. It's very. It suits the tummy. That's why some pregnant women, when they're having, when they're nauseous during that first trimester, ginger helps a lot. Uh, with my last baby when I was pregnant, that was the first time I ever, ever, ever was so nauseous. It was so bad. I was just chewing on natural ginger candy. So I was chewing that I had to put it in my mouth, literally put it in my mouth and hold it in there because my mouth would taste so sour. I was so nauseous. So ginger helps to suit your stomach a lot. It helps um, with your digestive system. So just like with any change that you may do in your body, please make sure that you're taking caution because some people may experience some unwanted results. Some people may experience some side effects. Like I said, lemon water might cause people um, acid reflux. So make sure you check with your healthcare provider that this is okay for you, especially if you're taking any type of medication. But again, these are simple natural ways that you can help cleanse your liver detoxify your liver and stay healthy keep a healthy life okay so i hope this video helps you and if you think that if you enjoyed this video please make sure that you share it with other people comment comment it helps me i need to know if this is helping you or not okay don't just be a silent watcher why come on so, until next time, au revoir!